This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Color pixelation task two. Directions. This time we're going to use two bits for each color channel. Ah, which means six bits per pixel. We've done all the shades of red for you in the first row. You should follow a similar pattern to do the shades of green and blue in the last two. All right, so we don't need to mess with these numbers, right? These numbers control the width, height, and pixel amount. So, and why is this four? Well, one is one, zero, one is two, 11 is three, and then one, four. It's, it is somewhat strange, but you can see how it's represented. Three is height. And so that's what this number is controlling. And finally, this is controlling that there are six pixels per color. Now, this is a helpful hint, right? So if we have six pixels per color, the first two numbers, think of the ones as on or true and zeros as off or false. The first two numbers represent the color. So this is these first two are red. Then these middle two are green. And the, finally, these last two are blue. So we have a red row and now we want a green. So no red pigment. Oh, we're gonna follow their pattern. So black first, zero, not a one though. We don't want any red pigment, right? We want both red pixels to be off, zero, zero. Now, if they had their second, their least important pixel, well, it depends on big Indian or little Indian, but regardless, if they had their second pixel on, then the second pixel for green is the fourth one. So zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Next up is they had their right here, their first pixel for red on. Z so one, zero. Well, we don't want any red. So zero, zero. The first pixel for green is the third pixel. One, zero, zero, zero. Finally, they turned on both pixels of the red. Zero, zero, or both red lights, you could th think. Zero, zero. Boom. Now we just gotta do the same thing for blue. All right, so now blue is the final two. One, two, right? Well, what do we have here or here? We turned off the, we turned on only the second pixel, the second light of the color. That would be the final uh, bit in our, in our pixel zero, 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 one. Okay. Now this time we turned on the first bit, right? So the first bit that represents blue is one, two, three, four, five in. So this would be one and zero. Finally, we turned on both bits that represent the color. ta -da! It is kind of tricky, honestly. It's weird to think about, but just remember one means on or true and zero means off or false. And so if these last two are blue, well then two ones mean they're both on. One one means one of them's on. The other one is, well, another one of them on. And you can see how it varies in darkness depending upon the location of the bit. It makes weird sense eventually. Let's keep going.